right now. Let's go now. Hey, man. You want to explain what you're doing? I'm just hanging out, that's it. Just hanging out? Yep. I'm hanging out with her. And how old is she? As far as I know, from the profile that I saw, mm -hmm. she was 20. She says right here, I'm 14. I'm getting like. Bro, I'm okay. not, you're, you're, you're doing it. Now, Anthony, you're making a total scene in this Walmart. You're really not making yourself look good here. Ladies and gentlemen, before we start this video, I just want to say, oh, what's this? $5? Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty big out here making some big moves. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? My name is Wonder. Super phenomenal to have you here today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Great to have you. Now, the other night, I was trying to find some more things to cover and speak about, and I seem to be on a bit of a roll when it comes to discussing the uh, people who crawl out of the sewer pipes of the online realm. I was having a little bit of a hard time, though, and that's when my boyfriend suggested this one of video they found about a guy who faints once he is so he's he faints as kind of like a means to escape once he's caught for meeting a 14 year old out uh, at a Walmart for a first date I'm like my god talk about chivalry not being dead Jesus Christ so I took a little bit of a peek and man it's a bit of a wild ride so we have this individual named Anthony who you might mistake for being a sewer rat he is a horrifying sight to be reckoned with and some fun little facts he's a horrible liar he sucks at faking fainting and he is also a loving father, which when you remember the context of the video, that's that's what we like to call a little bit no bueno. So two creators known as Gene and PCI Incorporated, they met up because they were going to do a little hand in hand catching of the old stinky boys out in the wild. And the waters were kind of dry, but that's when Anthony decided to give them a break and came crawling out of the little sewer pipe he lives in and tried to meet a decoy at a Walmart. Now, of course, the original video is going to be down below, but I wanted to take a little bit of a peek into this share some thoughts and hear your thoughts down below because honestly it, it's a trip of a video it's a little bit uh, wild he makes a big scene of himself he embarrasses himself emts and police show up which therefore leads to police intervention which i don't really think was this guy's plan all along he just made it worse for himself every step of the way pretty disgusting individual so before we take a peek at our little specimen today i would kindly ask for you to drop a like and subscribe down below because it really does help out the channel and it boosts my ego go more than you'd ever know. So without further ado, once more, my name's Wonder, super great to have you here, and let's get right into today's video. As Eric has all the information, but we're going to meet him at the entrance right now, and um, we're gonna get a little, see if we, we can get a little brief on this guy. And he did mention that he has kids of his own. Looks like he's got the chat logs printed as well. What's this guy been talking about, man? Talking about how he's gonna, he's never a 14 year old. I never heard that one before. Yeah. But I'm just gonna look at the chat log with you. Rick, get a zoom in on him over there. Okay, he's not even looking. That's him right there in the red, the red, mm -hmm. the red hoodie. How long are we gonna wait to confront him? Let's go right now. Let's go now. Hey, man. You want to explain what you're doing? I'm just hanging out. That's it. Just hanging out? Yeah. Who are you hanging out with? I'm hanging out with her. And how old is she? As far as I know, from the profile that I saw, mm -hmm. she was 20. 24, I think. 24. What if you, you wanna, meet me, yes. Do you want to try again? What'd you just tell me in the aisle over there? You were just asking me if I was 14, right? She says yeah. right here, I'm 14. And you say, you're effing with me, right? And how old are you? I did, yes. I came here to make sure because, you know, there's a lot of profiles out there and gotcha. everything else. Right. Do I don't want to get in trouble. I really right, okay. oh, okay. so if you don't, you don't get in trouble, we're, we just no. want to talk. We want to go talk outside. You even say, "Are you joking that you're 14? You're truly yes. 14?" I came here to find out. So you came here to find out if she was actually 14. That doesn't make any sense. Because if she was, then I was going to report it. You were going to report it. So you had to come here, meet her, make sure. Yes. You couldn't just trust what she was telling you no. on the on the Did app. You just tell me in the aisle okay. you're 14. I'm almost 30. This isn't right. Yes. You shouldn't be doing this, but people look down on this. Yes. So after some digging and fun investigation they find our ye old boy Anthony in the depths of Walmart. So this guy, man, he already, they have the chat logs and everything, makes his excuses 12 times more goofy. So they approach him and like, hey, how old do you think this person is? And man, if your argument wasn't about to crumble already, he says, as far as I know, she's 24. Yep, that's gonna hold over well for you. Pack it up, boys. He he assumed he oh uh, well she might be 24. You should never start off with saying, I think 
They might be, I don't know, as far as I know. What do you mean, as far as you know? You should just know. When you're going out of your way to meet up people for some uh, old fun time, you gotta know that age, buddy. I mean, of course, we already know that he was trying to meet up for a 14-year-old, so I don't think he really would have cared. It's not like he went to meet a 24-year-old and he was like, my God, what do you mean they were 40? It wasn't like a old bait and switch catfish type situation. But I love it because the decoy immediately calls him out. I was like, weren't you just asking me if I was 14, saying, I can't believe you're 14? What'd you just tell me in the aisle over there you were just asking if i was 14 right there was a little bit of a wrench in his story there so his excuse which honestly makes a lot of sense you know when he puts it this way really the pieces start to align he says well i just came because i needed to be sure i did yes i came here to make sure well why did you say so <laughs> he needed to make sure for the safety of the public that she was f really 14 and not someone lying about their age but well, what about that part where you said you were gonna take him to your truck and f Thing. Hey, yeah, 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 we, we don't gotta talk about this is, you know, sometimes you gotta break a couple eggs for the safety of humanity. I like to just think about how that excuse would play out in reality. So your idea was I'm gonna meet up with a 14 year old, then I'm gonna send him extremely explicit images and messages, and then I'm gonna take my findings to the police station and say, hey, I went out of my way to meet this 14 year old and they were not actually 14. I'm sure the officers would sit there with bated breath. Please do elaborate, expand upon what you mean there, sir? Which gets even better because the decoy says, weren't you just saying though that you're 30 and I'm 14 and that we shouldn't be doing this because it'll be looked down upon? To which he just says, yes. You just told me in the aisle you're 14, I'm almost 30, this isn't right. Yes. I shouldn't be doing this, but people look down on this. Yes. My man, you are not doing yourself any favors here, which I mean, that's a good thing. I don't want to see someone like this slip through the old fingers, but it's like, are you this stupid? Sit down. Bro, I'm okay. Not, you're, you're, you're doing oh that. Alright, we gotta call the ambulance. Come on, bro. That, that was fake as no, Anthony, you're making a total scene mm. in this Walmart. You're really not making yourself look good here. Looking a little like, dramatic here, buddy. I tried to catch you and you forced yourself down. <laughs> hey, <laughs> an Is stop. Anthony. Is he sleeping? It sounds like he's snoring. So we're call him. Call him. <laughs> Sir, we're gonna call an ambulance for you, okay? Can you hear me? It's the girl that you were helping pick out oil. Remember we were just talking? You, who, An Anthony? Yeah. Maybe you sit up so you can you can breathe a little bit better. Can we sit you up? It's not enough yeah. air getting to his lungs Anthony, there. Anthony, man. <laughs> Are you? Man, come on. We need to tell the paramedics, okay? Your chest is moving, you're breathing. You even said that you are truly down and want to make sure that the cops aren't waiting when you came to meet her. Oh, so that got him moving. Oh my god, the cringe is unbearable. It is seething through the screen and through my skin. When he's caught, they're like, let's take this outside. Let's have a little bit of a ye old chat, Mr. Anthony. See what the messages really be about. He pulls the old, I'm gonna pretend to faint card. And I don't really know where this would lead. Like, do you think he would pass out? And then they would just be like, ah, well, he's, he can't talk to him now. So we, ah, let's call it a ramp and they leave. Like, what is the end goal here? But it's so obvious that it's fake because he conveniently places himself down he's like ah i'm fainted i'm dead i'm dying ah it's so silly because he falls and then the guy who catches him he's like dude i caught his weight so he was like pushing himself down which if you were faint you would be limp like wet noodle you would just go you would ragdoll, man. Wouldn't be like, ah, oh, get away from me, I'm fainting here. They start calling him out on his bluff. That, that was fake as Which ups the cringe meter to like 12 trillion because he starts to pretend to snore. Is he sleeping? Well, guys, that's it. He's passed out. I guess our only alternative here is to tuck him into bed and give him a kiss on the forehead with some warm milk and cookies. Rest easy, little Anthony. What's the plan, man? Which, this makes the situation even worse for himself from a financial situation. I'm a BS financial advisor here. Here in America, we charge you for everything when it comes to medical stuff. So when they mention EMTs coming. So we're going to call an ambulance for you, okay? That's good gonna be a bit of a price tag here you know a, a simple ride to the hospital can range from about a thousand to fifteen thousand if not more we in this country little treat if you have a loved one who dies we'll send you a bill for it before we notify you it's 
pretty bad. So if this is the route you want to go down, I'm more than down to see you lose a bunch of money. But buddy, you're just taking one L after another. Now the next part's really funny because they start reading out his chat logs and he is completely pretending to be silent and told they're like, so what is this message about the police? And he's just, he's just like, you even said that you are truly down and want to make sure that the cops aren't waiting. Oh, so that got him moving. The only perks up when the police are, uh, are mentioned. It's a miracle they have saved Anthony. Just relax, Anthony. Yeah, Anthony, you, you, you all right there? Do you have an inhaler on you or anything? So I'm gonna maybe get him some water. I had a chill mug chocolate milk. See, what else did he say? I mean, you ask her for a live picture and she told you she was 14 said that you've never a 14 year old before mm -hmm. have a with a 14 year old before mm -hmm. and doesn't he have kids of his own he has a three-year-old girl he was a, just telling me about. a three-year-old three-year-old daughter yeah we'll just give it a rest for a minute and let him just let him uh recover yeah yeah I can see his eye left, I, yeah he's trying to open his eyes and see if we're still here or not he was here to meet a child and he was here apparently that made him pass out seems that the chat logs were a little too much for him to handle and we didn't we didn't get halfway through it. Does anyone know CPR or I don't I don't know what to do here. Well, I guess he's just taking a nap. Huh? What time's he got to pick up his daughter? He said very soon. Very soon. This really isn't the father figure that she needs, I don't think. No. You have to leave. You can't be in here recording. What's that? You can't be in here recording. Okay. Don't stop recording. Way to commit to the he's to the bit. Causing a whole scene in this Walmart. I mean, this is much more of a scene than what would have been made up yeah, if we yeah, talked yeah. to him outside. Anthony, th this is obviously Cap. Your eye, I see your eyes. Your eyes are open. I mean, do, can can you just get up and so we can go outside and talk about this? Anthony. As the saga continues, Anthony pretends to still stay fainted. He is down and out of this fight. Please go away, sir. I am dead. I assumed that he thought by fainting people would just up and leave, but it's done the opposite effect and now everyone's gathered around like he's the main attraction, like he's a circus act. It's completely gone the wrong way for him. So there's a scene where he peeks his head up a little bit to make sure if other people have left and I bet to his dismay he saw that so many people have come around. Now, it's it's really funny because the people will be like, oh, what's wrong with him? Does he need help? What can we do? Well, he's actually here to meet a, a, a young girl. He's actually here to meet a 14 year old. He's here to meet a child and he's here to carry yeah. out. Made him pass out. Well, let's just step off to the side and see where this goes. This is a little interesting. A little bit of spicy content in the Walmart. -y. They do make a good point of bringing up the fact that he's a father and that he's like a bad role model. There's a completely fair thing to point out. I would hope he just wouldn't be allowed back in his home. I know that sucks on the daughter, you know, because she's got to find a new place to live and all that stuff. That's a very traumatic thing in itself. I can't even imagine what it would be like to find out that this was your dad. Not only was your dad a horrible, disgusting person, but they're now online making a scene fainting in a Walmart. What makes this even more wild is this guy's entire plan was he was gonna pick up this girl, have a little interaction in his truck, and then afterwards he was gonna go pick up his daughter from school. Father of the year. You got kids of your own. You have a daughter. What the hell are you doing? I don't know. It's all fun and games, joking and poking, but when I see situations like this, like predators are already really bad, but when you see that they're parents, it just raises a whole plethora of questions where you're like, please God, do not let this extend to the home life as well. Anthony, are, are, are you with me? Can you hear me? You all right, Anthony? Are, are you able to get yourself up? Uh, okay. You should be able to. Okay. Your hand is very dirty. I'm not going to contaminate myself. There are some shells behind you that you can use to lift yourself, though. You're free to leave. You can walk out there. But we did call an ambulance for you, okay? They're going to be here soon. Do you, do you have seizures or something? I do have a history of are, this. Are, are you, was that a seizure? I have no clue. It done. It done happen to me like that before. But getting caught in 4K or the passing out? Do what? Getting caught in 4K or the passing out? The passing out. Okay. So you haven't been caught doing this before? I've never done this before. This is your first time? That's what I'm trying to explain. Anthony, do you know how many times we've heard that? Oh, there's the ambulance for him. Yeah. Perfect. Hopefully they brought the police with them. Do you want to admit right now about that? Was that real? Yes. Oh, that was real. No, no, when you fell. Was that real? Oh, yes. Yes. Can I ask why you said you never had... 14 year old before? That is true. I never okay. have. Why well, tell it to her though, and then you ask her what she wants to do? Okay, so at this point, he needs, like, he needs to seek medical attention. So oh, okay. Let him look him, look him yeah. over, make oh. sure everything's okay first. Yeah, I just wanted to ask him. I know. Okay. But we need to let him do his thing. Okay. What do you think the chances are that that was real? 
that fall? I'd say zero. zero. Zero to none. So eventually a miracle happens. Christmas came early and Santa brought life back into Anthony so he could have the strength to walk out those doors straight into the hands of a paramedic. So that's great for him. But while he's doing this, he holds true to his argument. They go over his chat logs, which again, this man is like an attorney's worst nightmare. Case in point, question is presented. You said you've never been with a 14 year old. Is that true? Yes, I did say that because I haven't. That is true. Then why would you bring it up if you weren't talking to a 14 year old? Well, when you say it like that, it sounds kind of bad. Dude, why would you agree to that? Why would you be like, yep, that's exactly what I said and think that that makes you look innocent. Like you're getting out of this. So yeah, I did I did say that I've never been with a 14 year old because that's a fact. Like you wouldn't say that to a 27 year old or anyone for that matter. You wouldn't be on like a date with someone of age and be like, yeah, you know, something on the old bucket list. I've never been with a 14 year old before. Like it's just like, what, what, where does that argument ever be presented and you look innocent? Like, what the f are you doing? What makes this even better, though, is the police are here, through courtesy of the ambulance, I believe. And so now Anthony is sitting here, and the police walk up to you, old Gene and PCA, and say, hey, what seems to be the issue here? What seems to be going on? And oh boy, Mr. Gene here has the big old binder with all the evidence. He's like, well, officer, if you're in for a bit of a bedtime story. So let's see how that plays out for us our dear boy Anthony. Oh my gosh. How you doing? Come on. usual thing, man. So that guy came here and he did. 14? 13. 14. It was 14, 14 in the show. 14 year old. Um, then, as we were walking out, he fell down. On so purpose. I don't, I don't know what that was. It, looked, it seemed fake to all of us. No. So he, yeah. he was talking to us. He was talking to us. He fell down. He was, I was on the ground for like, Three ten minutes. minutes. Ten minutes. He was only for a minute. Yeah, five ten minutes. Five ten minutes. Yeah. And then he got up and started talking again. And we came outside. Is this uh, everything you guys got on him? Is this the entire chat? Are you able to summarize it real quick? Here we go. Here we go. Police is obviously going over the chat log with him. Hey, see the police is going over the chat log. Probably with saying something like, "I was just trying to make sure." Yeah, that's what I he was said. Just trying yeah. to help her. Yeah. Just to see what she would say. Just to see how much trouble she was really in. Some just doing of, an experiment. Some kind of experiment, some kind of yeah. chomo studies. You yeah. Know, out there. All in the name, the name of science. All in the name of science. Crazy that someone would commit a full on felony just to do some research. Go get one phone call. True. Thanks for helping me pick out my oil. Hey, he was arrested. That's pretty big. But it's good to actually see someone get arrested in a situation like this rather than just like a public shaming because you see it so many times online. It's something that I don't like about these kind of videos is you'll see a lot of people, they just publicly shame and put the face out there, which is great for ra uh, raising awareness, but it never gets to the point where law enforcement is like, hey, let's book him, boys. Like it just doesn't happen a lot of the time. So this is like a big W in the books that this guy actually did get arrested. Very unfortunate for his daughter. This really isn't the father figure that she needs, I don't think, quite far from him. I can only imagine like how messed up of his situation that is where this happens to be your dad. So I really hope that daughter ends up like in a safe position because that's something I thought about the whole video. Like it didn't leave the back of my mind. I was like, this guy is a dad. There is a child that has lived with this man. Horrifying to think about. But yeah, I just want to show you guys that video today. Uh, I want to hear your thoughts in down below. I'd love to discuss and talk about what we just watched together as a class. If you did like the video, feel free to drop a like and subscribe down below and also check out the full video because this is just more like the highlight points. So definitely go check those channels out down below. There's a lot of content similar to what was here today. A bit of a quick video. My name is Wonder. Super great to have you here and I'm going to get on out of here. I got some other stuff I need to knock out and record. So again, you take care and farewell. <laughs>